In this video, we'll walk you through the process of connecting your WooCommerce store to EasyShip. Start on the WooCommerce dashboard and navigate to Plugins and click Add New. Once on the page, search for EasyShip and click Install Now. After the plugin's installed, click Activate. After it's activated, head on to Settings, Permalinks. And we're just gonna to wanna to make sure that day and name is selected or basically anything that isn't plain. By doing so, we rule out a potential issue that could occur with the API connection. Now let's head on over back to the installed plugins page. And we're gonna to wanna to look for easy ship and click on settings. Once pulled up, click enable and you will be redirected to the EasyShip dashboard. In this example, we're gonna log in, but if you don't have an account, you can always sign up. You'll then be prompted to enter default information. This will be used by the system to fall back on if orders sync without product details already saved to EasyShip. Once filled in, click Finish Setup. And just like that, WooCommerce is connected. Under the Connect section of your EasyShip dashboard, you'll be able to view the store. And if you head on over to Create Shipments Advanced, you'll be able to sync orders directly from your store by clicking Add Shipments Sync from Store. And lastly, you can visit the product listing page to sync products directly from your store. It's important that you add all missing details to avoid discrepancies in rates at checkout or under declaring the size of your parcels, which can result in unexpected charges. Okay, so that just about wraps up our walkthrough on connecting WooCommerce to EasyShip. I hope this has been useful, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our support team. But in the meantime, happy shipping.